Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom report for your forms. A custom report can be used to export your records using a specific format that you've designed. The first thing that you'll need to do is go to the Build Forms tab in your account. Then you'll go to File, Open, and you'll choose the form that you want to build a custom report for. Once the form is loaded, then you'll click File, Create Report Template. This will generate an Excel file that you can either choose to manipulate within that file or you can copy the fields from that file into a formatted file. Here is the generic view of the form that the create report template generates. Here you'll see words surrounded by brackets. These are called the data names. Within build forms, you'll see that here. When you click on a question, you have caption text here and data name here. Data names are always required and they have to be unique. This is the word that is within the brackets inside the Excel file, as you see here. So it has to have the brackets on the outside of each side of the word. And when you generate this, it pulls all of the data names from within your form. Now, you can then choose to start building your template within here, or you can choose to create a new one, and then copy information from here into your new one. So for my example, I have a format already created here. It has my logo. It has a basic setup here. It's a customer invoice. I have a remit to section, which is static information. Then I have the bill to section, and these are the fields that are within my form. And as you see, I have the data names copied into this format here. When creating your template, you'll always need to make sure that you merge and center enough cells for any information that may be keyed into that field. If you don't, the information listed will be cut off based on the size of the cells here where the data name is located. Once you design your basic layout, you can then start copying and pasting your data names from the file we exported from the Build Forms tab and pasting them in here where you want them located. You can manipulate any of the items in here. You can choose the font type, uh, the colors, you can add images, you can choose where those fields export in using the data name. You just choose where you want it to go. Here we have a table. If you look at the form, we have a table that has this information. Here, quantity, treatment, unit price, and unit total. Because we set in these tools, whether to use a currency symbol or not, within your template, you will not enter in any of the currency symbols as it will pull this information over automatically. So you would only need the data name. You'll notice that with these ones, there's parentheses and numbers next to the actual name and before the bracket. These are used if you're using a table field or a repeatable field. Here, we set the number of rows of a table. Mine is set to 10. So within my template, I have to have 10 sections and I'll use the data name. I'll have the bracket, quantity, 
parentheses, one, parentheses, and then the close bracket. And you'll enter that in for each specific uh, number of rows that you've designated. Mm -hmm. So for this table, it is 10, so I have 10. 10 for each field. If it was five, then we would only go to five. And you use this for tables and repeatables. And as you see in the file here that we exported, it already has that there. One to 10 for each of these fields. You'll notice here, same thing, subtotal, tax amount, grand total. You don't put any numeric symbols. It will pull those over automatically. I also have an additional note section. And you'll notice that this is several cells wide and two cells long. And I also have the wrap text feature on. As you see when you hover over that feature, instead of cutting off at the edge, it will wrap around, depending on how many cells you've merged and centered for that purpose. Again, the most important thing is knowing how much information or data is gonna be keyed into those fields within the form so that you can provide enough space here in your template to display all of the information. Here, I have a signature. You'll notice that this box is given a lot more space than any of these other data names. A signature is treated as a picture, and pictures need more space to display clearly. You can make these pictures as large or as small as you want. This one here is, I, in my personal preference, a large enough field for a signature. If you were using a picture, again, you could choose that much space and hit merge and center. And then the picture will be this size when you enter the data name of the image inside there. Some of this is really just playing around with it to see what you want and how you want it to look, what looks good to you. Um, everyone has different preferences. So again, most of this is preference and you just manipulating the look of the template. And the most important thing is of course, keeping the data names. So if you're copying from here, you just want to make sure that you don't add any extra letters or numbers or anything like that, um, that you don't delete any of the numbers or letters on accident. That way, everything in here will be correct and will export correctly. Once you've set this up and you've added your data names in where you want them, you'll save the file onto your computer and then you'll go into your account in the website and under the Build Forms tab, you're going to click Report Templates. Here it will provide a box of existing templates that you have, or you can choose to add here. If you add one, you'll click Upload Report Template, and then choose the file location from your computer, and then hit Open and Save. It will then add it to your list here, and then these are all the templates you have available to you. To assign them to your form, there's two ways that you'll do this. One, if you have an email field within your form, here to the right, you'll see Report Template <coughs> Standard and Custom. You'll click Custom. Then it'll produce the list of template names you have, and you can choose one and then you'll save the form. If the form is already published, you'll just open the form under Open Special, follow the same procedure, go to the email tool, change it to custom, choose the template name, and then you'll click File, Save. It then will associate that custom report to this email tool. That way, whatever email address is keyed in and that is sent to the recipient, they will get a PDF or Excel copy of this report, depending on your settings here and report settings. If you're using a custom report, you can choose to send as PDF or as Excel. The second way to assign it to your form is through the View Data tab. Here, you'll choose the project 
and the form and the date range. Date range isn't necessarily as important for this as we just need to get to the settings icon here. We'll check report settings. And then here, when creating PDF file, we'll choose whether we're using a standard or a custom. When we click custom, again, we choose the file name here of the report template we want to use, and then save. Then when you export this to PDF or Excel, it will export using your template. So I'll show you what it looks like here when we set it to custom. And I'll hit save. Then I'm going to hover over the arrow and choose to export as a PDF. Then we'll click save in the pop-up window. And it may take just a second, depending on the size and details of your report template. You can choose to save it or open. I'm going to open it. And here you see the finished product. It pulls the information from the record in any of the fields that are not filled in with data will remain blank. Anything that is will display. So here, there's no signature on this one, but if I choose one that does have one, under all, and export this one, we'll see a better example with the signatures and more fields filled out. And then we'll click open with. And here you go. There's more fields filled out in this one. The customer information here. The, some of the quantities and treatments and prices filled in. Here, you'll notice that the total section, even though there's nothing in these fields, all display a zero. This is because by default, within the web portal, a calculation tool automatically has a zero. So it will display that way in the custom report as well. So as you see here, this is the PDF. This is the Excel copy. You can also set the margins using the page layout and the margins to reduce the amount of space on the right or the left. And if there's anything that you see that you don't like, you just go back into your file, change the, say, the justification to the left or the middle, um, whatever doesn't look right to you. Save that change. Go back into the web portal under the build forms. Hit report templates. Find the file that you've already uploaded. Hover over the arrow. Hit edit. Replace that file with the one that you saved a change to. Hit open and save. And because we've already assigned it to the email tool and in view data, then we would just go back to view data, choose the record and export again. And here we have the signature. As you see, it's decent size. Again, this is all preference. So if you wanted the signature larger, you would just go into your report template and assign more cells, merge and center them and then the signature would be larger when you export. And that is how you build a custom report. Thank you for your time.